Okay, my first ever Bricklink order. This is from Brickvibe LLC in Wisconsin. This looks to be his 431st order. <sighs> but mine, so I'm excited. Let's open this bad boy up and see what he has in store for us. Oh man, excited. Oh man, isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? 30, or at least it looks to be 30 of these. I think I ordered 40 of these. Um, two of these uh, guns. I think I'm going to modify one of these along with this to make sort of a makeshift, more accurate Mando rifle. This uh, laptop, we're gonna have some fun with this. Maybe even sort of trying to recreate that one Loft Studios moment. These, oh man, isn't that just beautiful? Look at those, look at that shiny, clear oh, green. That is just, this is all new. This, these, I've wanted some of these for the longest time. Then, um, we have a, uh, Minecraft axe. I've only ever gotten two Minecraft sets before, and neither of them included one, so I'm glad to get one of these finally. Um, these, um, I'm planning to use these as, like, a bounty puck. Focus. Um, and then these. Best car ingots. Let's, let's open some of these up. Alright. that pristine, crystal clear ingot. That's just, that's, is that just not amazing? That is, and this, these are all genuine right now. Sorry about the table. This is, oh, what I do with my, like, animating stuff. Then these. I got four of these because, you know, this guy, his minimum buy was 50 cents per lot. At least that's what it said in the description. I might have done a little bit of overdosing there, but I mean, look at those. Oh man, I <laughs> felt like there was going to be more in here. I, I <laughs> gotten a few too many, but let's see. Let's count these and then we'll see if Brick Vibe is legitimate. 38, 39, and 40. Pearl Silver Grates. Very excited about those. Um, let's see, uh, let's do something interesting. Let's get these out. I think these were like 32 cents a piece, and that is just amazing. Okay, let's get Mando. Let's see. That is so westerny. I'm not a big western guy, but that is just amazing. Um, nothing really interesting here. This, I have always wanted one of these. Now I can do a, like an opening scene of the Minecraft video I teased you way back, but I mean, it's not gonna come out for ages, but that is just, that is just amazing. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one of my Minecraft guys. I had to rob my uh, first ever Minecraft mock for the Jesus Studios contest, and does that not look Amazing. I don't know what it is, guys, but I... That's, that's just, that's just amazing. Um... This computer. I've always wanted to handle one of these. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at that logo! Oh, man. All these details, like the... Speakers, or the vent, and then the, like the power port. I think that's what that is. Uh, that might actually just be an ejection mark, but... That little... Oh man, I am so excited. I just fold it. Oh man, that click. That is so satisfying. Okay, now let's get a minifigure. Let's see if you can hold it. Oh man. Is that not amazing? I might seem like a total lunatic obsessing over these little itsy bitsy things. And by the way, these bags are amazing when they're new. I'm gonna have to save these. Um, but then I have, then I have just these things that I got for the bounty pucks. Again, I just got three because his, um, minimum buy per lot was 50 cents. So, you know, and then these, I've always wanted to handle one of these. Ugh. 
That is just glorious. Cheers. Hope I, hopefully I put one of those glass sound effects in there. But I forgot to mention this order was $10. Uh, shipping and handling was around $5. And so it rounded out to be around $17 in total, including tax. Uh, this is my first Brickling order. I'm not really experienced in the ways of knowing how uh, expensive a part would be, but um, the parts, at least, were around $10 for like 86 parts, I think it was. Um, and I think it's a little bit more expensive than when you'd buy like a set. Um, I did get any minifigure parts, and those usually round out being about a dollar. So, like the Harry Potter Fort Angela, I have that set, and it was like $14 for 160 pieces. And so, including minifigures, uh, I don't think the price was the best um, for this order, but I wanted to give uh, a little bit of content to you guys since I haven't been making a lot uh, in the past few months. So, that is all for this order, guys. <laughs> For those of you who have made it this far into the video, I have a little bit of a sneak peek of an upcoming project I'm working on. Not particularly a video, but... This is me designing the prints for a custom Mandalorian minifigure. I hope to make these sometime in the future, but right now I don't have the stuff, so I'm just going to um, like make some decals for the moment. Um, so I have... This is what the Mandalorian helmet looks like. Um, I just drew it on paper. And then this is um, my modifications that I've made to it. You can really see the obvious ones like making the visor go up slightly, making the visor slanted at the bottom, making this cheap um, thing here a little bit more accurate, sharper. Um, the ears, uh, as you can see, stick out a little bit here. And so I cut those down. I added a few little details here. I'm thinking about taking the helmet holes off altogether. Of course, I added the fin, because that's just iconic. And that's all really all for the helmet. Um, here I have some prototype capes. This one's actually made out of fabric. This is the cape for when it swung over um, Mando's jetpack in his phase two. These capes, um, they're a little bit tattered at the bottom, because you've probably noticed that Mando's cape is a little bit tattered at the bottom. And this is the um, front and back um, torso prints. I actually just uh, finished this one today. This is not actually even all the way done. This is um, sort of a rough design for the front of the hip pieces. These are the leg prints. And the arm prints, uh, I'm gonna have to print out a different template um, downloaded from Mechabricks because I actually imported these pictures to Mechabricks and the design was all wonky. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more tweaking to figure out uh, why that is. Maybe um, a scrub. But goodbye for real this time.